could equal. They saw Elijah appear and Moses with him. And there they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter spoke, Rabbi, he said, how good is it that we are here? Shall we make three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah? For he did not know what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud appeared, casting its shadow over them. And out of the cloud came a voice. This is my son. My beloved, listen to him. And now suddenly, when they looked around, there was nobody to be seen but Jesus alone with themselves. On their way down the mountain, he enjoyed them not to tell anyone what they had seen until the Son of Man had risen from the dead. They seized upon those words and discussed among themselves what this rising from the dead could mean. And they put a question to him, Why do our teachers say that Elijah must be the first to come? He replied, Yes, Elijah does come first to set everything right. Yet, how is it that the scripture says to the Son of Man that he is to endure great sufferings and to be treated with contempt? However, I tell you, Elijah had already come and they have walked there will be upon him as the scriptures say of him. When they came back to the disciples, they saw a large crowd surrounding them and the lawyers arguing with them. As soon as they saw Jesus, the whole crowd were, were overcome with air and they ran forward to welcome him. He asked them, what is this argument about? A man in the crowd spoke up, Master, I brought my son to you. He is possessed by a spirit which makes him speechless whenever it attacks him. It dashes him to the ground and he foams at the mouth, grinds his teeth and goes rigid. I asked the disciples to cast it out, but they failed. Jesus answered, what an unbelieving and perverse generation. How long shall I be with you? How long must I endure with you? Bring him to me. So they brought the boy to him. And as soon as the spirit saw him, he threw the boy into convulsions. And he fell on the ground and rolled about foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked his father, how long has he been like? Like this, from childhood, he replied, Often it had tried to make an end of him by throwing him into the fire or into the water. But if it is at all possible for you, take pity upon us and help us. If it is possible, said Jesus, everything is possible to one who has faith. I have faith cried the boy's father, help me where faith fails, short. And Jesus saw then that the crowd was closing in upon them. So he rebuked the unclean spirit. Deaf and dumb spirit, he said, I command you, come out of him and never go back. After crying aloud and racking him fiercely, he came out and the boy looked like a corpse. In fact, many said he is dead. But Jesus took his hand and raised him to his feet. And he stood up. Then Jesus went indoors. And his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast out? He said. 
There is no means of casting out this thought but prayer. Then they now left that district and made a journey through Galilee. And Jesus wishes it to be kept secret. For he was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is now to be given up into the power of men. And they will kill him. And three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he said. And we are afraid to ask. Glory be to God. I will stop here. Hallelujah. This morning I want to. I read this place. To show you. How. Jesus. Is the master. Hallelujah. The Bible says. This. Thought. Cannot come out except by prayer and fasting. This thought cannot come out. And again, when you come to Jesus, you know, sometimes we're praying. And when we begin to pray, it seems as if hell broke loose. When we start praying, the problems seem to be worse. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, I want to show you how, how spiritual things happen. From the story that we read, this young man, the devil wanted to kill him. We call it epilepsy. But it's actually the spirit of death and dumb. Glory to God. The spirit of death and dumb is a very terrible demonic spirit that resided into this young man. And the Bible said they play with him anytime they want. They will throw him in fire. Sometimes they throw him in the water and he will have convulsion. And stay like he was dead. And after a while, they will relieve him. And oftentimes, until they made him a lunatic, they made him of no use, they made him of no reputation. There was no respect, there was no reputation, they useless him. And the father was constantly taking him from one place to another. Until he was able to come to the disciples. Because he knew that the disciples of Jesus has followed Jesus for a long time. They have followed Christ for at least three years. They have taught, they have been taught, they have been shown, they have seen. He said, I don't need to see your master. Take this boy, cast out the devil. The Bible says, the crowd gathered and they were watching. Yet, nothing happened. Glory to God. And instead of that, they didn't even take it as serious because the Bible said they were arguing about Elijah. Whether Elijah will come first before Jesus manifest or what? They were just arguing. But as soon as Jesus appeared, the story changed. They said this person wants to cast, wants you to relieve his son from demonic gripping. The demons gripped him and hold him. He was held in bondage. With the spirit of death and dumb. And this spirit is so violent that he throws him on the ground. He throws him everywhere and disgrace him. But the man brought the same boy to the disciples. And the disciples tried from morning till evening. Nothing was happening. Rather, the demons 
were just playing with the boy until Jesus appeared. Glory to God. And that's why I want to tell you something. Sometimes you see, you begin to pray about a particular issue and it gets worse. <laughs> Hallelujah. You added fasting. Praying, fasting. It was as if the problem became worse. You tried to pray. And that problem is as if it's not moving. Look at Jesus. The Bible says when Jesus appeared in the scene, he said, bring the boy to me. And they cast out the devil. Say the spirit and command the spirit of death and dog to come out of you. And when he came out, the Bible said the boy lied on the ground as if he was dead. The, when he saw Jesus, first of all, he threw the boy on the ground and the boy was convulsing so heavily as never before. And then, when they came out, the boy was as dead. Lie lifelessly on the ground. So, which means it was the spirit that was operating in him. They were just using his body. But this morning, whatever spirit that is not of God, that has possessed you, that has possessed anything that belongs to you, that have possessed whether a material or a body in your house, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit now to get out. Every unclean spirit, I command you out. Get out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit, every demonic spirit attacking you, whether your health, whether it's your finances, whether it's your career, your work career, that say that you will never rise or go to the order, the highest order of your career. Or attacking your ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand this morning. As an oracle of God. And I command. That that demons. Be out of your body. Out of your house. Out of your materials. Out of every of your possession. I command you out. Man pele korobo zete kitaya. Inan korobo shaki katulabia. Every demons that are using even your neighbors to attack you. I stand as an oracle of God this morning. I command that those demons will be out. I command them out of your street. Out of your community. Out of your workplace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. And Jesus. Commanded the spirits. Of death. And dumb. The spirit of death. And dumb. Glory to God. The spirit of death. And dumb. And I want to announce to you that there is a spirit called this kind that comes that have been dispatched on this generation that creates stubbornness, violence, and disorderly affections. And I want you to I want you to be careful because we're gonna, we're gonna pray. Any spirit that creates stubbornness 
in your house that makes your children act weird. The same spirit of death and dumb is the same spirit that provokes lunatics. Is the same spirit that provokes madness. Is the same spirit that provokes violence. The same spirit that makes children not to listen to their parents. Even when the parents is ordering their steps on the right way, the same brings children to violence which is connected with drugs, hard drugs, taking hard drugs. <laughs> Glory to God. Taking hard drugs and acting violently. This is the spirit of death and dumb. And we're going to pray this morning. Glory to God. You know, the Lord said to me, we are going to cast out these spirits. Every spirit of death and dumb. Even affecting you sometimes. That you are not able to hear. You will be, list- you'll be hearing, but you never listen. You never learn. And you cannot speak when it is time for you to speak. It creates death and dumbness. This morning, we're going to pray. That every spirit of death and dumb will be out of your family. You're going to shout Holy Ghost Fire seven times, the blood of Jesus seven times, and you're going to begin to cast out every spirit of death and dumb. Spirit of death and dumb. They have created violence in the community, violence in family. Violence in workplaces. Violence in schools. Glory to God. You see your children dragging you to to school every time because they cannot behave themselves. Glory to God. Spirit of death and dumb. We're going to shout Holy Ghost five, seven times, the blood of Jesus seven times, and you're going to pray. Decree and pray. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, 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 Jesus mighty name, the blood of Jesus Christ, 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 the precious blood of Jesus Christ, oh God arise, let your enemies be scattered, do not keep silence. Moshe lebra gadeboros, rima ma korobo senki kasia, lebra ma imba loko bregede, rabe diaga bados, zindo libo bobo bobo bos, rebra naga badogo baseli bobo bos, robo bobo 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 bos, rekindo libro gado libo bobo bos, rima dian kabenosa, rebo nivanian korobo bos, wari bobo 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 Ingle Ramo de Kinga Basa, Zexo Brananta Kabasolia. We bind every spirit of death and dumb. We cast them out of our life. We cast them out of our children. We cast them out of our siblings. We cast them out. We cast them out. Yes, anywhere that you have created a make mark in our family, these spirits, when they come, they create division. They create division because they also come with the spirit of pride and disunity. I want you to pray this morning. Say the spirit of death and dump. A maliko brotherhood. We release the fire. We release the fire. We release the fire. We release the fire against you. Your spirit of death and dump. You can no longer possess our children. You can no longer possess our families. You can no longer possess our siblings. We resist you. We ramo telebo. Rabba di kalababo sere. Reka ba impe loko duata. Lebrege de lebedos. 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 Mantro bekeveno mosanka basaya. 
Jacoma e korobo de diaga. Yende lege bedosa. Yes, Lord. We release the fire. We release the fire. We release the fire. Your spirit of death and dump. We command you out of our zone. E kabali bramo tolobosa. E kabali tokorobo senki. In the name of Jesus. I command you, under the spiritual zone, you shall no longer operate. We release the fire. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Raise your hand wherever you are. And I'm going to pray for you. If you're feeling weak, if you're feeling sick, the power of God is here to energize you and to heal you from all kinds of sicknesses and diseases. In the precious name of Jesus, Lord, I release your healing right now. Everyone on this prayer line that is feeling weak, I command on the power of God, we heal you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed. In Jesus' name, glory to God. We worship the King of glory. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Lord, for healing that pain. God is healing you right now. God is healing you right now. Receive your healing now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Lord, I also pray for protection upon your children. Protect them from every evil agenda. No evil agenda shall be fulfilled on your head. We reject it and we resist it this morning. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. No gone men, no gone women shall touch you. No damaging of properties. No thieves harassing you. No thieves harassing your family. I cover you and I cover your children. Wherever they are on this planet X. Wherever they are, in any section of the planet, I cover them and I cover you. I cover your siblings with the blood of Jesus Christ. No gone men, no gone women shall attack them. I cover you, no accident. You will not hit anybody, nobody will hit you. I cover all of you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.